What happens when you upgrade any item in the game to get crazier and crazier with each upgrade? Let's go and find out. First, my goal is to upgrade my sword with so many items that it becomes the ultimate infinity sword where I can even rain down entire planets. Second, I have to successfully upgrade my entire armor with every OP item in the game. And that means not just netherite. And last but not least, I have to combine all these items together to go into the end and see if I can defeat the maximum upgraded dragon. Can I do it? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys want to help me hit 3 million subscribers, go ahead and subscribe today and help us hit one hold like. Anyways, guys, enjoy the video. So straight away, guys, the wooden pickaxe really isn't enough for us today. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade it, not with netherite, but instead with a wooden sword. And just like that, we're going to be getting a wooden pick sword. Is it a pick? Is it a sword? Doesn't matter. It just works. And just like that, now we literally have both a sword and a pickaxe. A little bit cursed, but we're not done there because after that, we can go ahead and take a wooden hoe, one wheat, and get an iron somehow wheat hoe. A magical hoe that takes all the fun out of farming so what happens when i wreck like this oh no wait no my crafting table well we got a lot of bread we already have a lot of bread though okay well i kind of just lost the crafting table there so give me one second new crafting table and now i need another smithing table give me a second so we need a new smithing table so we actually have a desert temple right here and just like that guys we're gonna be seeing the sword pickaxe do its job which is still kind of cursed but you know what i need some iron and then we can get going with some more upgrades because our goal today guys oh my gosh diamonds already okay why not Curse of Vanishing, that kind of sucks. Two more enchanted books. A flame one book. Okay. Literally just started. Already a flame one book. I honestly never get those. I mean, I'll take it. Why not? Some gunpowder. And a protection four book. When did the books get so good in Minecraft? Okay. I don't even know if I know these because the upgrades are going to be getting so good. But at the same time, I might as well keep them. Like, what the heck? If you made this far in the video, just uh, comment down below the timestamp and say that was very unlucky because, uh, you know, we just confuse people. Why not? Anyways, so let's grab the TNT and then I guess dig straight down. We definitely got enough iron. So now we can finally actually go ahead and make this so uh make a smithing table and with that we can go ahead and start getting to the next thing we want to upgrade and that thing is going to be this pickaxe so with the wooden pick sword if we put it in again and then with one cobblestone we're going to be getting the stone pick sword which is just unbreaking too is it a pick is it a sword doesn't matter it just works so now that we have this getting an upgrade i guess it's got to make sense for the video what does it do different is it just like a normal pickaxe oh it's just a pickaxe but a little bit better no i did it again am i dumb don't answer that that one sec, I gotta fix that. Okay, so I just thought of something. Because we're in a forest, technically we could make an iron axe, but something we could actually do instead is, what if I put in the smithing table, then I make a stone axe, and then with the stone axe, what if we just upgrade it with an iron ingot? And there we go, just like that, one iron axe. And then what I was thinking was, why not, let's put one bow, one iron axe, and just like that, we're gonna be getting, oh! Okay, that's actually really good. I did not expect it to be that good, but we got an Infinity 1, Power 4, Unbreaking 5, Tomahawk 4, Axe Launcher. This patented axe launching bow is guaranteed to make your wood gathering 100% faster. And, uh, I don't have arrows. Oh my goodness, I am a dumb bow. Oh, come on. I guess I gotta find a feather. Okay, we got the arrows, so now we can actually test this thing out. So, without further ado, it's becoming nighttime, so let's real quick get some wood. Okay, wow, wow, that's actually a lot more wood than I thought. Okay, so that's an easy way to get a lot of wood and upgrade our boat to pretty much just become a full-on axe launcher, which uh, I should probably not waste, but just like that, that is going to be a lot of wood and also a lot of apples. And with that being done, let's actually go caving now. Okay, so what happens when I mine iron with this pickaxe? Okay, so it just gives me the ore right now. So low-key, I kind of want to see if I can go in and upgrade the stone pick sword to just being a full-on iron pick sword, because I think that might be the best option for now. So before we do that, let's actually get a furnace real quick. So let's put that there and let me see if I can upgrade anything else right now. Let's see three iron. I'm gonna guess with one iron ingot, we're gonna be able to make the, oh, and there we go, an iron pick sword. I'm breaking three. Is it a pick? Is it a sword? It doesn't matter. It just works. And just like that, guys, what is this one gonna do? Oh, okay, that kind of makes sense. So now everything we're gonna be mining is gonna be auto-smelted, and just like that, we have 11 stone, which I don't really need 11 stone, but I guess I'll grab it. Sure, why not? But the main goal with all these upgrades is to really get the final upgraded item, which is gonna be apparently a super infinity sword, which will be on the screen right now. I'm not really sure how we're going to get it yet, but I'm just going to keep upgrading stuff of how I was told to upgrade it. Oh, wait, actually, can I just do this? Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Wait, what about this then? Oh, that works. Okay. And just like that, we get a gold sword pickaxe. Efficiency five, many three, I'm breaking five. Does it break twice as fast? Oh, wait, no, that might be bad. Oh, <gasps> 
Oh, okay. It breaks a lot more stuff for sure. What about the iron? Oh gosh. Okay. This is definitely a weird pickaxe, but I mean, we're getting a lot of iron ingots from it and we're breaking a lot of stuff. And just like that, 16 iron ingots. Sure. Why not? I'm not complaining, but the main thing I want to make right now is definitely an axe to get my smithing table. So let's real quick. Why not? Let's go ahead and make an iron axe. I feel like I could just upgrade a normal axe for that, but you know, we're, we're kind of getting rich with the items. So you know what? I'm not complaining because we did get diamonds from that desert temple. Can we just do this? Oh wait, that doesn't work. So if it's not going to be diamonds, what would the item between diamonds and gold be for the next upgrade because my main goal is to get the very best item I can with the swords or just get like a super sword. So you know what? We're going to dig straight down and not die to that creeper. I should probably make some armor. So before we get any deeper, let's actually make full iron and then actually fight the creepers. Full iron. And where is that creeper now? How's it going, buddy? Literally a sword pickaxe. That's incredible. Actually, okay, just for science, actually, let's put that there. If we do one iron bucket and then one cooked chicken. Oh, wow. Okay, yes, we can upgrade the iron bucket with the cooked chicken for a literal bucket of chicken. A whole bucket of fried chicken. And I'm guessing we can't eat it yet, but I guess it'll be our next snack. Why not? You know, if you made this part of the video, comment down below. Bucket of fried chicken. There we go. Let's try a few more upgrades. Why not? Let's do iron leggings, one leather, and we get a strong leggings. Protection one, and that's it. Iron bound by leather, a much stronger and smarter option. I mean, why not? Sure, we'll put it on. And uh, just like that, we got some strong leggings, and I guess it's just leather. Leather. Okay, so the texture just loaded and it's actually like iron with leather things on it. Kind of looks weird now, but you know what? I kind of respect it. Either way, though, it's better protection. And also, I lost some hunger, so I think it's time to eat the bucket of chicken. And we're now disguised as a chicken? Wait, what? Um, uh, okay. We are now a chicken and we are laying eggs. W w okay. <laughs> what? Wait, no, I'm back. I, I kind of enjoyed being a chicken. I no. I don't know how all that ended up happening, but I guess I'll take it. All right, so what I got to figure out is what do I use to upgrade my pickaxe sword again? Because I definitely want to get the best sword I can, but I also want to get some really good armor. So I'm trying to now find stuff that I could upgrade other stuff with. Maybe some copper, but where would some copper be? Oh, and there we go. Okay, we found some copper. Now let's see what we can get with it. Holy, that's a big old vein. Also, let's make sure to get everything we can. How much is going to be? Seven copper ingots. Maybe that's enough. I'm not really sure. Now let's see if we can even combine any of the iron stuff with the copper ingots. So maybe this would work, I think. Oh, okay. It does. And just like that, we got an orange alloy chest plate. And that actually looks really cool. It's going to be mending one. Kind of cool. Protection one. And the lore says a sturdy chest plate made from an alloy of metals. Okay, so I'm not sure if it does anything cool. But I mean, it looks cool. Why not? Another thing apparently I can do is we can make a lightning rod and then with the lightning rod we can go ahead and use it to upgrade our iron helmet and then we get a literal lightning rod helmet okay i don't know if that's kind of cursed mending one protection one i'm breaking one and static Two, okay, a shockingly good helmet, I like the pun, that strikes enemies with lightning. So it's pretty much just a lightning helmet. I mean, I'm not really complaining. I'll go ahead and wear it as long as it doesn't hurt me. If it does hurt me, then we're taking that off immediately. Oh, actually, wait, I think I can make something with the gunpowder of a creeper, actually, and we have a lot of it. And so it's not gunpowder I need, but actually the TNT I got earlier, because apparently if I put one arrow and then one TNT, what is this going to make? Oh! Okay, and just like that, we have a grenade, right click to throw and make a big boom. Oh gosh, do I wanna make big boom? We're making big boom, here we go. Oh, that's so close, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, it's legit just a grenade. Um, okay. I mean, why not, sure? I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a lot of grenades. Maybe one more. Okay, we'll make one more grenade, and just like that, we got an extra grenade just in case for the dragon. And it looks like I can also upgrade bows, so why not? Let's go ahead and make some new bows. So what we're gonna be needing is actually a good bit of iron. So before we do that, let's go ahead and get some iron. So I need some iron ore, and iron ore is right here, so why not? A little bit more iron. There we go. And with that, we should have 14 iron ingots. That should be enough for now. Also, I hear some zombies. Kind of want to test out what the armor does when I get hit. So, uh, buddy, hit me real quick. Oh, oh, he literally gets hit by lightning. That's kind of cool. Nice. I mean, I have a lightning rod helmet, so it's kind of doing damage. It doesn't look like it's doing a lot, so I definitely got to upgrade my armor a little bit further. So with that being done, the next thing we're going to be upgrading, I think, is with one iron block. And then with the bow, we're going to be getting a iron bow, which is infinity one. And all it is is infinity one, which I'm definitely going to be taking compared to this axe bow, which kind of uses the arrows. And all it says is arrows like multiple. How about just one for the rest of the time? I kind of like that, so you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, just literally a normal bow with Infinity 1. Why not? Okay, so, but what we still gotta find is some diamonds. Where are some diamonds in this cave right now? Or maybe we can upgrade another thing again, but I feel like we're just upgrading back to back to back right now, but at the same time, it's really entertaining to see what all works, because apparently something else I can do is upgrade my iron boots with a gold ingot, which I'm gonna assume is gonna give me, like, maybe Midas boots or something. Oh, 
Okay. Sonic Boots, Mending Protection 1, Unbreaking 1, and Chaos Speed 7 move around at the speed of sound. And I'm gonna guess that's a reference to Sonic the Hedgehog. So when we put this on, are we gonna be really fast? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's actually a lot fa more fast. Okay, sure. Why not? So with that being done, I think that might be all the iron items. And we might need to get a lot of gold so we can get to the gold items and the gold upgrades. So I definitely got to figure out whatever the next tier is. Because it's definitely not diamond. So there's something in the middle of the upgrades that I got to figure out so maybe it's like a 1.17 thing let me think really oh wait 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 okay it might actually be amethyst i'm not sure if amethyst items are a thing i'm pretty sure they aren't but if we can get this amethyst real quick or amethyst shards let's just get as many amethyst shards as we can right now i think we might be able to do some upgrades with amethyst shards which would be very overpowered to see what it does so would this be the next item instead of diamonds <gasps> oh okay that looks really cool and just like that guys we get an amethyst sword pickaxe which is a lot better oh my gosh wait efficiency five fortune two mending three i'm breaking seven upgrade 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 i'm gonna guess that's a hint that we really need to keep upgrading and getting the best items of the game because just like that now we have a really good super pickaxe what the heck that's like triple mining i'm not gonna complain and just like that we should probably move on to the amethyst tier but to do that i think we also gotta get through the gold tier so uh let's i guess move on to the gold ones which is gonna be a gold helmet and then a gold pickaxe which is apparently gonna be a combination of a gold helmet and a gold golden pickaxe and with these i can upgrade the gold helmet with the golden pickaxe and what is that thing oh my gosh a headbutt helmet protection three i'm breaking five dash four stubborn like a bull charge like one two what does that even mean okay uh so what happens if i do i just run into things or do i right click do i shift left click oh oh we can literally headbutt into the wall okay <laughs> so we can now dash into things can i dash into the skeleton okay we can't dash into that but i guess it's a new form of mining by just just dashing into the wall? Yeah, why not? And apparently now the grenade can be upgraded too. So one grenade and one gold ingot. Oh, and we get a golden grenade. The closest thing you'll get to a holy hand grenade. So again, I'm kind of scared of throwing this. We do have the sonic boots. So I'm going to throw this thing right here and going to run away. Okay. Please don't kill me. Oh, okay. Well, just like that, that is going to be a lot of gold blocks immediately. And I will be gladly taking that because I'm pretty sure I need some more gold for the next upgrade. So uh, 42 gold blocks, just like that. I kind of want to make another grenade ju just because of that. So, and one hand grenade. Okay, nice. Weird items to have in Minecraft, but we're going to go with it. Okay, so I'm going to be making a golden bow, but I'm not sure if I want to get rid of these. I guess why not? It's just an infinity bow. I can make it again if I need to. So if I upgrade one bow with one gold block, I'm going to guess that things are going to get even better. And we're we're going to be getting a golden bow, flame one, infinity one, power two, unbreaking two. So it's definitely a lot better than the iron bow. So does it shoot gold? Okay. I literally completely guessed that. <laughs> it literally just shoots gold. Okay. Why not? Okay. So where is some lapis? I need to get some lapis for the next thing. All right. Just because we need to iron pickaxe. Okay. Oh no. I headbutt it. Okay. This helmet honestly is kind of trash. We're going to go back for the lightning one, but on the bright side, we can go out and make the next thing, which is going to be the upgrading of one golden sword with one lapis to make a uh, lapis gold sword? Oh no, what is that? A essence extractor. Looting three, sharpness three, experience three. Oh, okay. Pull the essence directly from the mobs as they are slain. Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get XP as we fight mobs. So where is a mob real quick? Let's go find one. Oh, I think we got one. All right, skeleton, give me some XP. Oh, wait, what? There's so much XP. We're level 30 already. Okay, just from one fight, we got to level 38. I mean, I'm not complaining, but we have another skeleton. Okay, sure. Give me some more XP. I'm liking this upgrade a lot because just like that we are level 52 not that we really need enchants but sure i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next upgrade which is gonna be apparently the grenade can be upgraded again with gunpowder into a creeper grenade interesting it sounds like there's footsteps echoing inside of it oh wait this might spawn in creepers hold up all right don't be bad creeper grenade i'm running i'm running i'm running 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 holy creepers holy i could have died oh Diamonds! Yes! Finally! No, no! Lava, stay away. I'm gonna get these diamonds so we can finally get to the next tier, and I technically already have diamonds, but I definitely don't have enough for all the stuff I need, so, uh, you go away, Lava, and- Oh, more diamonds. Okay, never mind. Sorry for neglecting you, diamonds. Honestly, you hope you have a great day, diamonds. You are a great person. This pickaxe does have fortune, so I'm gonna try it with this one. <gasps> Oh, wait, I did get more diamonds that time. 14! Okay, that's literally 11 diamonds from one vein. Don't mind if I do. Definitely gonna be grabbing that. But with that being done, I think we should be good to upgrade this amethyst sword pickaxe with one diamond. And oh, and that actually looks really cool. And just like that, we're gonna be finally getting a diamond sword pickaxe. And I'm gonna guess that netherite is the final one. Unless it can get even better. But all it says is efficiency five, fortune two, mending three, I'm breaking seven. Why pick a tool when you can have both? And what exactly does this one 
one do? Let's see. I'm hopefully not chunk mining. Oh, it kind of just mines quicker. Kind of cool. All right, but with that being done, we're not completely finished with the gold tier. We actually have a good bit of items to go. So let me throw away the wheat hoe. I don't think we really need that anymore. And apparently we can upgrade the entire gold armor set. I'm not sure what we're going to be upgrading it to. But the first thing that I see is that apparently with one gold leggings and upgrading it with one emerald, we're going to be able to get a, what is that? Lucky pants. Okay, it's like pants with polka dots. Oh, protection four though. All right, protection four, luck eight. Everyone has that one pair of lucky pants. <gasps> Wait, wait, no way. Okay, I think they're like lucky block leggings, guys. I'm legit getting diamonds, gold, and emeralds from anything I mine. Maybe a little bit too overpowered and might not be ever added to Minecraft, but I am gonna rate this upgrade a nice 10 out of 10 because just like that, guys, we're gonna be getting a lot of diamonds, a lot of emeralds, and pretty much everything we're gonna ever need. And we're not done there because apparently with the amethyst shards we have, we can go ahead and make an amethyst helmet, which is mending two, protection three, unbreaking six, a crystalline helmet. And we can do the same thing to the chest blade, which is gonna be the same thing protection three not bad so i'm gonna pretty much do this to the entire set of armor even the boots why not a crystalline boots do i keep the sonic boots oh i'm not sure oh it does more armor too oh no okay you know what let me know in the comments sonic boots or the amethyst boots just because it's amethyst i feel like i want to use it but at the same time super speed is a really nice thing so i'm gonna keep the super speed boots for now and throw away the amethyst boots i couldn't get away without making an amethyst sword so just like that amethyst sword sharpness two i'm breaking two a sword made of crystal super sharp I'm actually kind of curious of what it does when I hit something, so I'm gonna keep it for now. We made the diamond sword pickaxe amethyst. What about a normal gold pickaxe? Oh, an amethyst pickaxe, which is efficiency five, fortune two, many in three, unbreaking 20. How strong is a crystal pickaxe unbreakable? So it's gonna be like a normal pickaxe, but pretty much you can't break it. Oh, and I still have my lucky pants. Nice. Okay. So, okay. So it doesn't have any like fortune or anything, but on the bright side, we did get some more diamonds. Oh, wait. And apparently something else we can make with the emeralds we got from the temple. If we put one golden apple, and one block of emerald, we get a emerald apple, a villager's favorite tree. Usually I don't like eating these right away, but I mean, it's an emerald apple. I gotta do it. Let's see what it does. Oh, I'm a villager now. Okay, okay, why not? Um, I guess as a villager, what do we do? Do we just mine? I'm not even sure. And as a villager, we get every single potion effect in a high amount and we're no longer a villager. Dang it. Well, at least we know that works and we can go ahead and make another curse thing and upgrade bread with one diamond and then we get a literal diamond bread bread. Has a somewhat reflective crust to it. Could sharpen a sword with it, maybe. All right, so I gotta take hunger somehow, so I guess we can't eat the diamond bread yet. But something I'm realizing is we have so many items, but we don't really have a lot of inventory space to use it in. So something we could actually do, apparently, is somewhat a little bit cursed, because would this just make a double chest? But what if we combine one chest with a chest? Do we get, like, a super chest? Oh, a diamond-looking infinity chest. Right-click to jump inside? Wait, what? Just in case, I'm gonna grab everything, and I guess we're gonna be jumping inside the chest. Alright, right click. Oh. Oh! We're inside of a chest, apparently! W what's on the outside? Nothing. Oh my gosh, we're legit just inside of a random chest. And the best part is that now we have a bunch of chests, so why not? In the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and store away some stuff we don't need anymore, like these these things. Uh, So with that being done, I guess the next tier we move on to is gonna be the diamonds here. And with the diamonds here, the first thing we're gonna be doing inside this chest, I guess, is combining a diamond chest plate with a golden chest plate, and then we get a gilded chest plate. Oh, wow, that's actually really good. Mending three, protection five, I'm breaking five, a very expensive chest plate to be worn by very important people only. I mean, I'm kind of just a Minecraft YouTuber, so I'm not sure if I'm very important, but it's better than the Amethyst chest plate, so why not? Let's put it on, and it's kind of just a really good chest plate. And to add to the upgrades, we can also go ahead and upgrade the diamond boots with one single TNT, and then we get TNT boots? Oh, never mind, got the name wrong. Dynamite shoes, blast protection 20. Okay, I'm gonna guess we're gonna be needing that. Feather falling 10, protection 3, unbreaking 5, explosive elite 5, and make the earth shake with every leap and bound. Okay, I'm not gonna put this on just yet. And for now, I'm gonna go back real quick and let's see what this thing does. So, dynamite boots. Do I shift? Oh, 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 okay. So, um, I see what it does now. We are literally just leaping around in TNT. Loki, that might be really OP against a dragon. I'm not gonna use that completely. And oh no, I broke all my armor. So there goes the Amethyst helmet, but on the bright side, something we didn't make is actually gold leggings, then one Amethyst shard, and I guess let's get some Amethyst leggings. It'll do for now. And helmet-wise, we actually gotta go to the nether. So with that being done, guys, I think I'm gonna get a lot of obsidian. And then we can try to see if we can get the next item. So, and maybe we can 
can mine this really quickly. You already know me. I'm the fastest obsidian miner in Minecraft. Oh, wow. Yeah, I really am the fastest obsidian miner in Minecraft. I don't even need to mine the actual obsidian. And all I need now is just one flint and steel. And we actually have no iron. So let's go over here and mine that real quick. Iron done. Now we just got to go inside. And I'm going to risk it and go without a helmet. Anyways, let's go. All right, we're in. And now what I need is one blaze rod, one ender pearl, and an eye vendor. Okay, let's find another fortress. Oh, we found it. Okay. All right, another fortress. Let's go inside. This is literally the perfect entrance right now. It's going straight to what I need and not doing the most damage to these guys. But on the bright side, we can go in and get three blaze rods. I think that's all I'm going to need for now, but I'm going to get enough for the eyes of Ender just in case. Oh, wait, I killed it inside of a gold thing. Um, That's a bit weird. Also, good time to eat the diamond bread. Why not? And all items repaired. Oh, I should have eaten that earlier. So just like that, we have 10 blaze rods. And I think the next thing we can actually do is make a diamond sword. And with the extra blaze rod we have, we can actually upgrade it with one blaze rod. And just like that, get an Ember's Edge. Interesting. Fire Aspect 10, which kind of makes sense. Sharpness 3, I'm breaking 6, and Blaze Cannon 1. Oh gosh. A flaming sword with some magical powers for the player who wields it. So now that we have this, what exactly does it do? Also, another Blaze Rod right there. We have 10 in total. Holy. All right, let's try it out. And with a right click, we can literally now launch fireballs. I mean, sure, why not? Probably also an easy way to get Netherite, which I'll try out soon. Actually, there might be an item that might be perfect for going around the nether. So if we make one scaffolding, then get some more sticks, we can actually upgrade our stick and then put one scaffolding. And just like that, we're going to be getting a scaffolding wand, a magic wand that scaffolds you above all. So does it like just make scaffold? <gasps> oh, okay. Yep. I like this a lot. And just like that, guys, we can pretty much run around anywhere we want. Okay. Oh, and a piglin. I'm going to go ahead and give you a lot of gold. And just in case you, that's not enough gold, I'm going to real quick do that. Then make even more gold. And this guy's about to trade everything he can in Minecraft. So uh, yeah, here, have some more gold, buddy. But the main thing I'm going to be needing is probably netherite. And I guess I could do a couple more things with diamonds. So for that to actually work, we actually got to get a lot more gold. So let's make a golden apple. And then oddly enough, we're going to be needing a diamond block to upgrade the golden apple with a whole block of diamond. And hopefully it's worth it because with this, we're going to be getting a diamond apple. Don't crack a tooth. I'm probably am going to crack a tooth, but without further ado, let's see what it does. Oh, okay. That is a 12 second, a really good potion. I mean, it's not that good though, because it's 12 seconds and I'm looking at the possible things I can upgrade and it looks like the rest of the items are all going to probably require netherite, but we can actually make one more thing with diamonds that I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place, but with the golden bow, we can actually upgrade it with one block of diamond and just like that diamond bow, pretty much the golden bow, but a little bit better. A bow made with diamonds, but smells like gunpowder. Wait, wait, what? You over there. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's actually really good. This is actually a pretty good bow. Not bad. Let me real quick and kill you. All right, so we finally got 16 under pearls. Not bad. That honestly took a lot longer than I thought it would. We can finally do our next upgrade, which is not going to be a normal eye vendor going to the stronghold. But apparently with this thing, we can go ahead and apparently make a diamond helmet and then upgrade it with the eye vendor. And just like that, we're going to be getting a third eye helmet. Mending 2, Protection 3, Unbreaking 4, Ender Guardian 3. A helmet that opens your inner eye, protecting you from all angles. Uh, not sure what that's going to do, but either way, we finally have a helmet, but we're also glowing now. Interesting. All right. Well, so all that's left for us to do now is to get some netherite. And the only way I know how to get netherite is literally just by going straight down and getting some ancient debris and seeing what happens when I mine it with this pickaxe. All right. Y level. I think it's Y level nine. Okay. All right. Now we just dig straight. All right. I'm going to do this for a bit. And I'll see you guys in a bit when I finally find some netherite. This took way too long, but we finally found some ancient debris right under us. So now moment of truth. Does anything special? special happen when I mine it with a sword pickaxe. Oh, okay. Wait. So instead of getting ancient debris with the diamond sword pickaxe, we got instantly three netherite ingots, which I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that because with the netherite ingots, I'm pretty sure this is what we're going to be needing for the final upgrade on the diamond sword pickaxe. And that's going to be the netherite sword pickaxe, but we're not done there because we still have to get to the fully upgraded armor and the fully upgraded sword. So with the netherite sword pickaxe, it's pretty much the same pickaxe, except this time we get mending 10, I'm breaking 10. And it says almost the best pickaxe in the world. So if it's almost the best pickaxe in the world, what is the best pickaxe in the world? What else could I combine with netherite? Let's see. Wait. Technically, could I do this? Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh man, I'm not sure if I should do this. Should I upgrade one bread with one of my only netherite ingots for a netherite bread? Very hot, feels freshly baked. I mean, I am kind of hungry, so uh, if this is bad, then please don't roast me. Oh, 
Was that it? Did I really just eat netherite bread to get fire particles around me? We don't talk about that in the comments, okay? We, 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 we're never talking about that again. On the bright side, I guess we'll do this the old-fashioned way and make a netherite chest plate. And then what I'm going to be needing is a diamond chest plate unless this can work. Okay, no, so that doesn't work. So I'm going to be needing some more diamonds. And you can't go wrong with some lucky pants. So lucky pants. And now let's just get some good stuff. We can now upgrade a netherite chest plate with the diamond chest plate. And just like that, we're going to be getting a diamond netherite chest plate. Mending fire protection a i'm breaking 10 is a diamond is a netherite doesn't matter it's strong and low key it actually looks really cool not bad and now the worst part is that there goes all our netherite so i gotta find some netherite again and then i'll see you guys in a bit and get a lot of diamonds at the same time i'm not kidding this took like five seconds after i just said that and we legit found ancient debris right away so what happens when i mine it with this it looks like a lot of netherite again and it's gonna be 10 netherite ingots this time so i I think that might be actually just enough how much we need for the rest of the items. I'm gonna get a little bit more just in case we need like netherite blocks, which shouldn't be too hard if we can mine this quick. All right, so uh, yeah, 40 netherite ingots. That should be definitely more than enough. Let's go ahead and use the infinity chest and get back to our headquarters. So we don't need ember's edge anymore. I'm gonna keep it there just in case we need it for later and definitely a lot of ender pearls and blaze powder. And for the next item we're gonna be making, we're gonna be using nine netherite ingots to make literally a block of netherite. And with one netherite block and our upgraded diamond bow we can upgrade this thing to a oh wow that looks cool a netherite bow flame 10 infinity 10 power 10 a breaking 10 a highly explosive weapon to use with caution oh gosh do i want to blow this place up okay no no i'm not gonna blow it up just yet so stay tuned when i get back and apparently the next thing we can make is gonna require us to get a little bit of diamonds even though i grab a stack there is gonna be one netherite sword and then oddly enough a shield which i don't know why i haven't made a shield yet but i guess we're doing that now all right netherite sword normal shield and that is a big old sword. Reinforced sword. Mending four. Sharpness six. I'm breaking ten. Stopping power four. Memories of past lives fill you with knowledge, granting the ability to defend yourself. Okay. Wait, that that is cursed. I can block with the sword. Um. Okay. This is huge. And I guess we'll use that later on. And something we can move on to after this is again with making two more grenades. We can combine two grenades. A netherite looking void grenade. Right click to summon a black hole. Okay, that might actually kill me. And I really don't want to lose a challenge so i might save this for the dragon fight and something we could actually do technically is uh i mean why not since we have only one more golden apple i'm gonna save this for the final fight too but we can actually combine a golden apple and a block of netherite and just like that we got a netherite apple why not wait what if i upgrade a netherite with netherite oh a netherite chest plate 2x gives it protection too and level it up some more wait can i do this again oh 4x level up some more 8x okay why not we can keep leveling it up and now we got a 16x which the numbers are getting insane right now with the enchants 32x is there gonna be 64 oh wait no that's not a chest oh <gasps> Oh, oh, that is going to be good. The final fight is going to probably be very difficult. So netherite mech, uh, the chest plate has become a full size mech. Hop inside. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. So before we do that, guys, I think we might actually be able to make the final sword now. So apparently it's going to require a lot of the swords we've already made. It's going to be first reinforced sword, combining it with the ember's edge sword. We're going to be getting a reinforced ember's edge. And oh my gosh, that is really good in chance holy a blade forged from two very unlucky items and i'm gonna guess it does pretty much the same thing as both of them oh i can block oh and i can definitely explode things let's uh cover that up real quick so before we try this out again let's get back to our portal all right i'm just gonna kind of make a portal instead i think this might be our best bet now let's go back oh no this is not the best spot but on the bright side we do not have that and we need so how do i get out all right now we should be a little bit better let's get out the smithing table and the next thing we're gonna be making is the reinforced ember's edge with the essence extractor and with that we get another upgraded sword which is going to be the reinforced embers extractor and just like that the enchants are getting bigger and bigger a blade crafted from three godlike items it holds powers unlike any other i'm gonna guess that it's all three swords combined so after this can we upgrade it one more time because it's not the infinity sword yet so with the pickaxe <gasps> oh gosh and with that final upgrade we finally get the ultimate infinity sword efficiency 5 fire aspect 10 literally every single enchant possible and it says an item so strong it has the ability to break any block and slay any mob oh gosh oh wait okay that's a planet i'm running oh gosh oh <gasps> Oh my gosh! And so just like that, we now see the power of the ultimate upgraded infinity sword. I'm 
I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one. And we're not done there because we also had the void grenade, which low key I kind of want to use right now because I have enough arrows and we can make another one. So what does the void grenade do? Oh, that's a black hole. Okay. I'm gonna real quick make another one of those. So with all that being done, there's only one more thing to do and that's go back, make some eyes of ender and go to the stronghold. So now that we have the eyes of ender, let's see where we gotta go. Uh, oh, that way. Okay. All right. I have ender and oh wait, it went down. Okay. I have ender kind of went down here, so it should be somewhere around here. I could send off a grenade and try to find the stronghold that way, but I mean, this is kind of the old fashioned way. So maybe we can find it like this. Oh, well, we found it. I like that I got the speed boots. It should make it a little bit faster. Oh, and here we go. Okay. And with these last eyes of Ender, guys, I think all that's left for us to do is go inside, summon the mech, and hopefully the dragon is not too difficult. Anyways, wish me luck. And here we go. Don't see any dragon bar yet, but we got to go straight up. So I'm going to spawn in the mech once we get up. Oh, and there it is. That is definitely not your normal Ender dragon over there. So I guess it's time, guys. Let's get in the netherite mech. Oh, and we're inside. Okay. I kind of got outside of the mech accidentally. All right. So what I got to do now is literally throw in my fireball is a break every crystal I can and shoot the dragon and hopefully I don't die to this thing. Also, the netherite apple might be a good idea. Herobrine can't die? Oh! I'm here by now. Oh my gosh, I'm here by for th three seconds only. Oh gosh, okay, okay, here by sure do your thing. I did not expect to become here by all of a sudden in the final fight, but all I'm trying to do right now is break these crystals. Effects are gonna be gone very soon, but that should be enough for all the final crystals at least. All right, so plan B, netherite mech again, and we should have at least some weapons. Okay, we got the mecha cannon, we got the self-destruct button, and we also have the mecha sword. So let's actually do this the old-fashioned way. Go on, mecha cannon, do your thing. All right, guys, I think the best way to do this, honestly, is probably just bring out the planet. I'm gonna launch a planet real quick and hope for the best. We're running. Oh, there it comes. We're running. We are not going to be staying there. Oh, it didn't kill it. It might be almost dead. I'm not sure. We've been fighting this thing for a while, but this thing's a lot harder than I thought. Let's get back inside the mech and just shoot in some cannons, I guess. Okay, please. It's perching down. This should be enough damage, maybe. All right, plan B. We're summoning another moon. Please hit the dragon. Hit the dragon. Oh, and it didn't kill it. Oh, no. Maybe another right bow? I'm not even sure. Come on. Come on, arrows. Do your thing. I'm literally sending explosion after explosion explosion right now. Oh, wait. I think I got it finally. Yes, there we go. And that is going to be it for Minecraft, but I can upgrade any item. But with that being said, how do I get out? I guess with that being done, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And I'm going to jump in the void now. Go follow my Instagram. And besides that, here's a video just like this one. Do I die now? I don't die. Do I lose? Let me know in the comments. Bye.